So walk me through how you see the current landscape evolving from here and where the demand is going to come from. Pretty strong drilling economics on the ground despite some macro headwinds. How is business now towards the end of the year and tracking into 2023? Look, of course, um, the short term, there's a lot of uncertainty uh, in the market, uh, but we see demand as being very strong. Uh, I think, uh, as you see now, the energy crisis uh, and the element of security of energy is becoming at the forefront. So we see that this is going to be very supportive for investment in the current energy systems of today. Of course, there's different measures uh, being taken across the globe, the OPEC plus measures that are helping stabilize commodity prices. Uh, plus the long-term uh, expansion projects that are happening, particularly in the Middle East. I think these are all elements that support uh, strong uh, activity in our business. Uh, and I think moving forward, we're also going to see a lot of diversity in the energy system to new energy systems. So I think the short to medium term will see very strong activity in our space. Okay, so what's the sweet spot for the price of oil in your view? I think the price of oil is always going to be dependent on supply and demand. I think today uh, we'll see this evolving depending on the situation. I think as the ease of security challenges we have now, I think we'll see different dynamics. Uh, but I believe that it will continue to evolve depending on the supply and demand dynamics. And of course, so much of that comes back to what OPEC Plus is going to do. Do you think OPEC Plus is going to be in cutting mode from now on? It seems as if on the Q3 earnings call, the CEO was pretty optimistic about the trajectory of the market and in particular, that OPEC Plus decision. I think the dynamics are, uh, are, are very complex, uh, but we see that the OPEC Plus is, uh, is moving very fast and very swift. As the situation changes, we saw the cuts, the two million barrel cut that happened uh, recently. Uh, to be honest, it's very difficult to predict what will happen. It depends on a lot of factors, uh, the geopolitics, the economic growth, the recession and the monetary policies that are happening around the world. So I'm very optimistic overall in the, in the, in the structural demand supply dynamics uh, for our business.